Hey there, so last time I made a video where I put monsters in Little Company into D&D. Nice, simple, fun. This time, let's do something a little different but very very similar. Putting D&D into Little Company. Now, I don't just mean reskinning D&D monsters and putting them in Little Company. Though, that also sounds pretty fun. I mean adding things that would enhance the experience. Make things more chaotic, make things funnier when you eventually meet your untimely demise, you know, things like that. Now, without further ado... Actually, wait, a bit of an adieu. Last video I made got a lot more attention than I was expecting it to. I was expecting like 5-10 people would watch, but it got over 100 views and I even got a few subscribers out of it, so thank you. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Anyway, now without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Mimics. Now, mimics are infamous in D&D, and one of my favorite monsters to put, well, anywhere. It's fun to mimic anything and everything. Now, Little Company Aldi has a mimic mod where the fire exit gets turned into a mimic, but, well, why not do more? Say you find an item like a bolt lying on the ground, could be a mimic. A shovel you found on the ground, a mimic. Essentially what I'm saying is just mimic more stuff. In fact, you know what might be funny? A mimic ship. Probably won't work a lot, but when it does, you know it's gonna be funny. Beholders, a classic D&D monster. They're essentially giant floating eyeballs that shoot eye rays with various effects. The reason I want to add beholders is because, one, they're beholders. Have you seen them? They're absolutely terrifying. Two, their eye rays have a variety of effects that I think would be fun to add to Leto Company. Some of these effects are simply dealing damage, but they have a few others that are a bit more amusing. Translated to Leto Company, some of these effects may include the Fear Ray, which causes you to drop your items and run away in hopes of not getting eaten. Or the Charm Ray, which causes you to go towards the Beholder in hopes of getting eaten. Or the Telekinesis Ray, which I think should just pop you up in the air, toss you around like a pizza before splatting you down on the ground. And there are also a few others which I think would be fun to add to Leto Company. Also, Beholders can't control their eye rays. In D&D, which eye ray they use is determined by rolling a d10. I'm sure there's a lower reason why these powerful creatures can't control their own attacks, but I don't know what it is. If you do, leave a comment down below and let me know. Anyways, having the effect you hit by be random might lead to some chaotic fun, which, you know, Leto Company is well known for. Wild Magic Surge, a staple of the Wild Magic Sorcerer, a chaotic class which I absolutely adore. Every now and then when they cast a spell, they unleash a Wild Magic Surge, and that, in turn, unleashes upon the world a random effect from the Wild Magic Table. Now, I'm not saying put in a Wild Magic Sorcerer. I'm saying put in the Wild Magic Surge. Make it an environmental effect like fog or rain. Turn the sky purple and have a random effect take place every hour or so, and let the chaos unfold. Some of the effects in the Wild Magic Table don't really apply to Lethal Company, but I'm not saying to use the table per se. Just have fun random effects happen every half an hour or so. Like spawn more monsters, more mimics. Maybe all the players shrink, maybe all the items turn to whoopee cushions. What I'm saying is, chaos is fun, and I want more chaos. So give me more chaos. The Shahogan. Essentially giant humanoid fish monsters. My reason for wanting to add them to Lethal Company is because, well, I love the raining effect. Specifically, the flood it causes. The ever-looming threat of drowning and the warbling effect when you're underwater and about to drown. Well, it never fails to make me laugh. But I feel like we can do more, so I suggest that when it floods, we bring these amphibious creatures out from the depths to hunt down the players as they try to make their way back to the ship. Now, if you're not happy with the Shahogan, I'm sure one of the other amphibious monsters would be more your style. I only chose the Shahogan because I once almost killed my players with them. It was great. Side note, maybe weather specific monsters would be a good addition to the game. Anyone else think so? Potions. D&D of course has a lot of potions. Famously, the Potion of Healing, Potion of Invisibility, Potion of Flying. All classic effects that would probably be fun to add to Little Company. But we can do so much more. The most fun I have with potions is homebrewing. All sorts of weird effects. Maybe add in potions that temporarily turn your players into giants. Shrink them down. Turn them into hoarding bugs. Or even blow them up. And what would be even more fun is if all the potions were the same color, so they wouldn't know what the effect was till they took it. Random, chaotic fun. Now, if you don't feel like homebrewing potions, then just... There are a lot of canon potions you can use. All with varying fun effects. The deck of many things. 
an infamous item in D&D that is sure to derail any campaign. A deck of 24 cards with almost game-breaking effects. Imagine the chaos it can cause in Lethal Company. Such effects include making you rich, making you poor, turning you evil, summoning a devil, and even a card that forces you into a 1v1 duel with the aspect of death. Some of the effects that give and take XP, they don't really apply to Lethal Company, but you can just skip past that or add in your fun effects in its place. Although I did hear of the Lethal Company mod that adds in experience and skill trees, I don't know too much about it, but that and the deck of many things might have some good synergy. Now, you may have noticed that for a lot of these, I've just been adding random chaos to the game, but well, I love RNG and chaos. That's why I love D&D. Don't worry, that's my last chaos item. So let's move on to some more practical stuff. Adventuring items. Little Company already has a few items that players can use for self-defense, like the shovel or the stun gun. But D&D does have an assortment of items that might prove useful. Of course, magic items are always popular, but the non-magical items are surprisingly useful and underutilized, such as ball bearings to slow down enemies in a small area. We have caltrops to stun enemies in an even smaller area. End oil, which is flammable, so that's fun. And I'm sure these will prove very useful against enemies, but of course, potential friendly fire is also a good reason I want to add these. Traps. Lethal Company already has traps such as mines and turrets, but I'm sure we can add a few more. D&D has an assortment of fun traps such as pitfalls, darts, poison darts, fire breathing statues, Indiana Jones style boulders that will chase you down and flatten you. All fun and good, but let's talk about a favorite of mine, the Sphere of Annihilation. A black hole creating orb that devours all, considered both an item and a trap. So what I'm thinking is that we add two versions of the sphere. One as a high value item, the other as a trap that triggers when the players try to take it. So if they see a sphere, they'll have to decide whether they want to be greedy or cautious. If they choose to be greedy and it was an item, then profit. However, if it was a trap, then just have them and everything they hold be devoured. Sounds fun, right? Risk and reward. Finally, dragons. It's in the name, Dungeons and Dragons. I have to put them in. Plus, imagine you're just minding your own business, pocket full of loot, and heading back to the ship thinking you're safe. When suddenly, descending out of the sky is a great red dragon that incinerates you before you even have time to regret your life choices. Now, I think they would be fun to add because, one, Little Company doesn't really have any giant flying enemies. Two, you can't deny that a giant imposing dragon would be cool, but if a fire-breathing red dragon isn't to your liking, then maybe consider instead adding a poison-breathing green dragon, a lightning-breathing blue dragon, or even Tiamat, the goddess of all dragons. Imagine being chased by a five-headed dragon. Terrifying, right? Thank you so much for watching. So, what did you think? Would be fun if they were modded in, right? Comment your thoughts down below. I love knowing what you guys are thinking. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Anyway, see ya!